this video outlines how to do an environmental sample. So I want to first uh, just go over the use of this solid auger medium on a petri plate. So this is the lid and this is the actual bottom. So this is the, what we consider the top, that's the lid. There's nothing on here. Um, so this is just a, simply a cover for the plate. The actual auger medium, the T-soy uh, auger that we're using here is down in the bottom. So you really want to make sure that you know where that is. So you're putting uh, whatever you're transferring on there, whatever bacteria, you're getting it onto the auger medium. I also want to talk a little bit about labeling. So we always want to include our name, the medium that we're using, the name of the medium. Um, often they can change color and, and look different after incubation. So we really want to make sure we know what that was we started with. Uh, you could put the organism name here normally. I'm going to put uh, where we're sampling from here because we don't know what bacteria we're going to be picking up. We're going to go to a shoe. And then finally the date. So because environmental samples are often from dry surfaces, I want to maximize the amount of material that I pick up. So I'm going to do two things to do that. I'm going to use a cotton swab and I'm going to use a sterile one here. And I'm also going to use sterile distilled water. This wrapper can go into the regular garbage. So I'm going to just put that aside for now. And I want to uh, dip my swab into this sterile water to get it wet. And because if I'm going to a dry surface, I can maximize the amount of bacteria that I could possibly pick up. So I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to dip the swab in, get it nice, get it soaked there and wet. Now we're going to discard this when we're done, so don't worry about taking extra measures there. Now I'm going to go to my environmental sample. I've chosen to use a shoe here, and I've got a helper here. We're going to go to the bottom of the shoe. Lots of interesting things might be found there. Just drag that across. And now I'm going to go and do the lawn onto my plate. So the idea with the lawn is you're not trying to make a particular pattern. You're trying to entirely coat the medium with your uh, sample. And you're going to be doing a clamshell. Don't forget that. I'm taking the lid off here simply uh, for illustrative purposes so that you can see uh, the technique here. So I'm going to think of like painting. I'm trying to completely coat the surface. If I don't get the swab all the way to the edge, that's completely fine. The main thing is, is that I'm filling in all the gaps in the middle. I can go back and over it a few times until I feel like I've got a nice coating. And then I'm going to turn the plate 90 degrees and go back over it again. Again, if I'm not getting every single edge, that's okay. The main thing is, is that I'm filling in these gaps in the middle. This is going to be very important so that we can get a nice full lawn and growth all over the plate. So when I'm finished, I'm going to just uh, put the lid back onto my Petri plate and I'm going to dispose of the swab into my sharps container. And don't forget, I'm going to take this wrapper and throw this away in the regular garbage. And that is how you do an environmental sample.